Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen and amen. I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. I, I had a second rapture dream on August 5th, 2020. And this was my second, and a very important rapture dream. Now the dream started out with me sitting in a tall chair in a small clearing in the middle of the woods at night, all alone. And for some strange reason, this did not seem odd to me. It just felt natural and normal for me to be sitting in a chair, and especially with all the problems that I have with my knees. And all of a sudden, the Holy Spirit told me to pray. So I closed my eyes, I clasped my hands together before me, I bowed my head, and I started to pray. And it seemed as though I was only about 20 or 30 seconds into my prayer when all of a sudden, I felt just like I had been shot out of a cannon. I went straight up instantly, but before I left the ground, I, I was transformed. I was transformed. I, I received a new glorified body, and then I was just shot out of a cannon. I went straight up, and I just kept going up and up and up, and I kept going faster and faster and faster until I felt like I was moving thousands of miles per hour, and I just kept on going even, even faster, and I, I felt as if I were moving uh, faster than the speed of light even. Uh, when this first happened to me, I, I actually gasped for air. I mean, I literally gasped for air. Immediately after that initial gasp for air, I, I felt a, a peace and a, a comfort like nothing could hurt me. And it even started to feel normal in a strange kind of way. Now, I had no idea how long I was traveling up. I never opened my eyes and time escaped me as I had no concept of time, not any longer, and time had no meaning for me anymore. Even though, even though I never opened my eyes, it was as if I could see, or maybe I imagined it, I don't know, but in other words, it was in a dream. So, it, But in my mind's eye, it was like I could see the moon, and I, and I, I zipped past it, then I zipped past Mars, I zipped past Jupiter or Neptune at an unbelievable speed. And all the time, I just kept going faster and faster and faster. And then I zipped out of the Milky Way. And then I zipped past the Andromeda galaxy. And I just kept going faster and faster. And it, it seemed to, be, to me that I was going 100 times, maybe 1,000 times the speed of light. And all the while, I just kept going faster and faster. But I never opened my eyes because actually I was afraid to open my eyes because I was afraid I would wake up from this dream and, and I didn't want to wake up from this dream so I didn't open my eyes but I but I saw these things in my imagination and in, in my mind's eye but then I became aware that uh, at one point that I was not traveling any longer but I was standing and I heard other people around me talking I slowly opened my eyes expecting that my eyes would have to adjust to the light in the room but that was not the case when I opened my eyes, I noticed that I was in this huge room, and it was like a giant hall with many other people standing around. These people were, they were all talking amongst themselves. And what I noticed was that all the people in the room seemed to be in their 20s, early 30s at, at the oldest. Everyone was wearing a brilliant white robe and sandals on their feet, including me. Everyone seemed to be young, including myself, and we were all dressed in brilliant white robes. We all had color in our hair. No one seemed to be overweight. No one wore glasses. Everyone was perfect, as God is perfect. I started to feel a uh, started feeling a very real excitement welling up inside of me, and I started asking asking people that were near near me, excitedly. I was going, "Did I just get raptured? Did I just get raptured?" Uh, I know what it, what it feels like to be raptured. I've been raptured before, and, and it felt just like this. Was I just raptured? I was so excited. I was, I was just giddy. And for some strange reason, everyone seemed so busy that no one answered me. I looked around the room, and it was more like a, a, a huge, great hall. 
and it, it was just enormous and you couldn't see the sides of it hardly and I, I noticed that it was apparent that the room was carved out, carved out of a solid piece of stone now I have to explain at this point I was so very excited I was like a kid in a candy store with the, with the, the owner gone and I had the biggest smile on my face so, someone commented that my smile went from ear to ear the walls were several feet thick the room was huge enormous it seemed to be carved out of a solid piece of stone and this great hall was half in the ground and the other half was uh, above the ground and with a very high ceiling which had skylights and the sun, sun seemed, the sun seemed to be shining in from all directions and I thought that was kind of odd there was a short staircase that went up and went outside and that also was carved out of a solid piece of stone I, I felt a peace and a comfort and f to be finally home a place where I was loved beyond reason or understanding where love has no words to describe it and I felt a joy an indescribable joy and love the cares of this world of this earth just melted away into nothing and then the people they started talking about going into the courtyard to see Jesus and everyone got very excited to finally see Jesus and we all began moving up the uh, hand carved uh, staircase uh, out into the courtyard but as I began to move move up the staircase I woke up home a place you know a place you belong a place where you can finally find peace and rest and joy and love home a place where you came from and a place where you are returning to a place called home and that was that is what and that is why heaven is not foreign or strange to you because you came from this place you only forgot about it if you were if you were, have ever been raptured like I was raptured you would spend the rest of your life trying to get back to that state of pure love peace grace rest safe and secure in the arms of Jesus I was I admittedly I was a little let down that I did not get to stay in heaven as I was there I was there and I prayed and I prayed on this and the Holy Spirit told me that I had more work to do back here but then the Holy Spirit told me something that really cheered me up he said the third time would be a charm so I am anxious for that third rapture dream as I know that it will be for real and I will be able to stay but after I was raptured uh, I, I was young again in my mid-twenties and then I had no more knee pain no neuropathy I could walk so then to be in a room standing seemed totally realistic and normal to me also now judgment comes against America it comes right quick and this is why I am reminded of this passage of the Bible Matthew 24 and 22 and except those days should be shortened there should be no flesh be saved but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened did you know that did you know that in heaven you depend on God for everything and I mean everything your light comes from God your warmth comes from God your dwelling is from God though you do not need a place to rest the air that you move through and the air that you breathe in heaven comes from God but you do not need air to breathe either as you are you are a spiritual being in heaven your sustenance comes from God although you no longer need food God provides you food you will not not need to walk but you will have feet in heaven you depend on God for everything it seems most people here depend on God for nothing how do you think that makes God feel you work for money which buys your food your shelter almost everything here when you get sick do you pray to God first or do you run to see your doctor first now that is not to say that God would not use your doctor to heal you after all all healings comes from God who do you put your faith in your dollars in your bank or God who do you look toward to supply your needs Walmart or God a great shaking is coming to America and every American will be shaken to the very ground God will take our money away he will take our banks away he will, he will even take Walmart away from us to teach us a lesson about faith God is about to give every one of us a very hard lesson in faith we will learn to depend on God for everything who knows what is best for you you or God but this these lessons are for those left behind 
Revelation 22 and 20. Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Yes, bad times are coming. Are you safe in the arms of Jesus? Are you sure? Now is the time to repent of sin and place all of your sin under the blood of Jesus. Now is now is as is, is now our time is very short. The man lying in the hospital bed knows he has only a short time to live uh, uh, left on this earth. Do you know that you as well have only a short time left on this earth? After April 8th, the shaking comes. Everything that can be shaken will be shaken. Everything collapses. Everything falls down. Then you will see only Jesus can save anyone. But do not wait for that shaking to start because you may find you waited too late because you missed the rapture. And if you miss the rapture, you will see hell come to this earth. Now God bless you and God keep you and your safe in his loving arms, just like he held me. We are all family. We love you. We love you like family and we pray for you like family. And every one of you have been a, have been a gift from God to us and we thank God for sending you our way. And we will see you on the streets of gold one day very, very soon in paradise. And we will see you there on that day with much love and more grace from above. Amen. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Time is so short. We're going home, Lord. We're going home, Lord. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord. I give you all praise, all glory, all honor. Oh, Lord. For you are worthy. Only you are worthy, Lord. Only you are worthy, Lord, because you gave it all. You gave it all. You gave everything. You held nothing back. You held nothing back. You gave it all, Lord. So who are we to hold anything back from you, Lord? Who are we to hold anything back from you, Lord? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I love you so much, Lord. I love you so much, Lord. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for making me a watchman and giving me dreams and visions and giving me a work to do in these last days. In these last days, Lord, in these last days, Lord, thank you, Jesus, 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 